I first became interested in the psychological development taking place during young adulthood when I was in graduate school. And on the side, I had a part-time job in the Office of Residential Life where I was working with a lot of undergraduates. And so here was this large group of people making the transition from high school into college, taking these initial steps into young adulthood. And I became interested in understanding what were the characteristics of that transition that predicted later outcomes for them, such as their academic performance and their psychological well-being and the strength of their social networks. And when I first took that job in residential life, I intended it to be something that would provide some balance to my life as a graduate student, to kind of take a break from my graduate studies. But those questions I began asking in residential life, I took with me, and I soon began incorporating them into the research I was doing in psychology, and it ended up becoming the focus of my dissertation, and it, it continues to motivate the research that I'm pursuing today. And what has made this research so much fun to pursue is that it all started with questions that I was just naturally curious about.